A Georgia woman who died of a medical emergency during those riots. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm joining us live from the state capitol here in Atlanta. Rebecca, you're in contact with a former Marine who tried to revive the woman. Yeah, I just got off the phone with him, Karen. Uh, he doesn't sound interested in going on camera, but he tells me he's a former medic. So when he saw that a woman had collapsed and had, per, had perhaps been trampled over, he came to her aid. He started CPR until police officers were able to take over. We also have an exclusive interview with this man. They basically created a panic, and then the, the police, in turn, pushed back on them. In an exclusive interview, a friend of Roseanne Boylan, Justin Winchell, told CBS 46 there was little he could do as people trampled over one another, pinning Boylan to the ground. I got my arm, my arm underneath her that was pulling her out, uh, pulling her out, and then another guy fell on top of her, and then another guy was just walking. I mean, there was people crushed. The 34 year old Kennesaw resident was a strong supporter of President Trump. In one of her last Facebook posts, she wrote for all the patriots heading to D.C., bring extra food, water, blankets, supplies and have a plan where to sleep. <laughs> Winchell says he does not hold the president responsible for his friend's death. But Justin Cave, Boylan's brother-in-law, told us Thursday he sees it differently. It's my own personal belief that the president's words incited a riot that killed four of his biggest fans last night, and I believe that we should invoke the 25th Amendment at this time. And meanwhile, you're looking live. We've been keeping an eye on the Georgia Capitol. They're continuing that previously planned installation of a new fence surrounding the building. But other than that, this area has remained quiet since that riot in D.C. Live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.